At least 10 people are dead and hundreds more have been injured after Typhoon Jebi battered Japan. Over a million people have been advised to evacuate after heavy rain and strong winds left a trail of devastation. Some major airports have been closed and more than a million people are without power, as Euronews' Evelyn Laverick reports. Winds of up to 172 kilometers per hour whipped up seas, pounded the coastline and destroyed ships as Typhoon Jebi struck Japan, bringing with it the country's latest bout of extreme weather. Officials knew it was coming and ordered more than one million people in affected areas to evacuate their homes. Some either ignored warnings to take cover or left it too late. Jebi, or swallow in Korean, was briefly a super typhoon and is the most powerful storm to hit Japan in 25 years. The capital Tokyo escaped the worst as Jebi continued on its unrelenting northward path. It's not the first time this year the Japanese have battled the elements. Earlier, the country recorded its highest ever temperatures as people sweltered in deadly summer heat. A month before that, the army had been brought in to help with the effects of some of Japan's worst flooding. There's been predictable travel chaos. Beneath these floodwaters lies Kansai International Airport and its main runway. Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has cancelled all his engagements in order to oversee the government's response to this latest environmental challenge.